The following video will demonstrate the most effective way for assembling the Newman's lift. This video covers all cantilever style models. It is recommended that you also refer to the owner's manual and assembly instructions supplied with your lift or found online at www.newmansinc.com slash lifts.html. Detailed information about parts can be found in this document. For easier assembly of your lift, you should first lay out all the materials in a level, open area that is large enough for the assembly. All assembly parts are numbered for reference to their precise use. Be sure to follow these steps in order to ensure the correct assembly of your lift. When connecting parts, leave the hex nuts a bit loose until everything is assembled. You will find four corner uprights like these. Note the shape of the plates at the bottom of the corner uprights. These will match the shapes at the ends of the front and rear cross members. The front cross member has a flat edge on the outward side whereas the rear cross member has an angular edge on the outward side. The front of the lift is where the front of the boat will rest, usually pointing toward shore. The rear of the lift generally faces out to the water where the rear of the boat will set. Set up the corner uprights keeping in mind the rear corners have the angular edge while the front corners have the flat edge. You can now place the cross members in place like this. Next are the two bottom tubes with their holes positioned on their sides. Set them down to complete all four sides. This will define the perimeter of the lift. Next, attach the brace plates, labeled number 25, to the two front corner uprights using bolts numbered 7 and 45. Point the tapered ends of the plates toward the rear of the lift. Do this to both front corner uprights. On the dock side front corner upright, place pulley number 10 onto the bottom bolt in the inner side, followed by pulley paddle number 26. Secure them again with the hex nut. On the front corner upright of the lakeside, place the cable loop over the bottom bolt and the other pulley paddle number 26 on top of that in this fashion. Secure again with the hex nut. Now assemble the corners by first positioning the bottom tube with the corner upright. Then match that to the plate of the cross member and secure it with bolts and hex nuts. Assemble the other corners in the same manner. Your lift should now appear like this. Your next step is to put the diagonal side braces into position. The end with two holes goes to the front, while the end with one hole angles down to the rear corner. Rest one end onto the upper brace plates of the front corner upright and the other end onto the brace plates of the rear corner upright. Keeping the pulley paddle out of the way, guide the two bolts through the holes of the plates and the diagonal side brace. Secure them with hex nuts. Now on the other end, secure the side brace with one bolt and hex nut. Going back to the other end, attach the pulley paddle to the middle bolt and secure with the hex nut. Attach the diagonal side brace on the other side in a similar manner. To piece together the bed assembly, first lay out its four sides. Note the ends of the bed cross members. The front cross member has both horizontal and vertical connecting plates at their ends. The rear cross member has only horizontal connecting plates on it. In both cases, the horizontal connecting plates face to the inside of the bed assembly. The vertical connecting plates will hold the pulley blocks which are used to guide the cable. Next, line up the two holes in the side member with the outside of the cross member plate and connect them with bolts as you see here. Complete connecting all four corners. To assemble the pivot legs, first attach the number 24 pivot gusset plates to the cross member and then the pivot to the gusset plates. Perform this on both ends of the two pivot legs. Place the bed assembly on the main frame in the manner shown here. Remember, the front cross member is the one with the vertical connecting plates. With one pivot leg laid out across the front of the main frame, attach it to the bottom plates of the corner uprights. After these are secure, Position the bed frame near the other unattached end of the pivot legs. Line up the holes and secure the two together with a bolt and nut and then set the pulley block in place with the number 6 clevis pin. Inserting the number 31 cotter pin into the end of the clevis pin will keep it from slipping out. Then attach the rear pivot leg in a similar fashion minus the pulley blocks. To attach the box winch, First remove the top plate. Then attach the number 22 plate to it by guiding the bolts from the inside. 
tighten the locking nuts on these bolts completely. After reattaching the top plate, secure the winch to the corner upright with bolts and hex nuts. Before attaching the winch wheel, place the fiber washer onto the winch. Then place the wheel on and spin it clockwise until tight. Finally, insert the 5 16 bolt with the washer and tighten it down, leaving it slightly loose so that the washer can still rotate. At this point, you can tighten down all the nuts on the lift that have been left loose. Now thread the cable end through the pulley blocks on the front bed frame. Go to the other side and lead it up to the winch. With an Allen wrench, loosen the set screw in the winch through the access hole. Thread the cable end through the bottom of the winch box into the hole in the wheel, leaving one eighth of an inch to stick out. Then tighten it down to secure the cable end. By turning the winch wheel clockwise, take up the slack in the cable and continue till the bed frame rises properly to its upward position. At this time, attach the two corner braces at the front end of the lift. You can now install the four cradles by putting the cradle post and rest together. Then attach the cradle blocks to the cross member and insert the U-bolt and tighten it down with hex nuts. Then slip the cradle into the block and set its height with the power takeoff pin. It's a good idea to leave these loose till you can position them as to the size of your boat.